This video is going to show you how to create a favicon, which is short for favorites icon. In other words, anytime that you encounter or somebody else encounters your website page and they want to save it in their bookmarks or favorites, well, it's going to have a little icon up here in the tab. This is the Chrome browser, by the way, and it's a little bit different in different browsers, but tabs or windows, there's going to be a little icon up here. And in the browser bar here, there's going to be a little icon. And if we open up the bookmark section here, scroll down until we get beyond the folders and into the actual favorites here. You can see how these icons over here next to the website page kind of stands out more than those that do not have the favicon or favorites icons. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to create and add to your website. And this can be done with a typical HTML website or a WordPress website. But I'm going to show you how to do it with a standard HTML website like this guy here. I just grabbed this out of my hard drive and it was just a web page that I had laying around and I've got it under demo. But this is the icon right here that I'm going to have look similar to this. Well, it's not going to look like that, but it's going to have its own icon that we're going to create now. Now, if you do a search online for favicon creator, you're going to have several options to work with. I'm going to show you how to do it with this guy here. It's the favicon.htmlkit dot com forward slash favicon and it's pretty simple too you've got an image for example if you've got a logo that you're working with on your website that would be a great place to start i'm just going to use one that i've got just laying around for a cpanel icon so we want to first go over here to choose file what a lovely dog and you want to navigate to the location of your image that you want to turn into your favicon and that's a pretty big image, by the way, but that's one thing you don't have to worry about because it's going to customize it and bring it down to size. So generate favicon ICO. And there it is. Now, if we go back here, let me go ahead and show you that image. I'm going to bring this in. I want to show you just how big that image is. 612 pixels wide by 287 pixels. So you can see it's kind of like that big, but this program brings it down to size. Now, it's probably not the best example, but you can see what it will look like right here as a demonstration. And you've got some other customized options here that you can work with, but I want to try to keep things simple. We're going to go ahead and download as is, and it creates a little zip file for us. Put that in my working folder. And it's not a lot. There's two images and a little text document. So let's go ahead and open up that zip file and show you what's inside of it. Again, you've got two images here. This is really the only one that I want to mess with. This one here would be animated if you chose to customize your favicon by using the animated GIF, but I didn't, so I'm not going to bother with that one. But if you open this up here, this gives us the instructions on what all to do. Basically, at this point, since we are not going to use the animated GIF, this is the only line of code that we need. So I want to copy that into my clipboard. Now I also need to upload this ICO file into the root directory of that domain. So I'm going to open up my FTP client. I'm going to be using Qt FTP. Now you can do the same thing with the free alternative, FileZilla. And I've already logged into the location of that root directory of that particular folder. And that's this right here. So now I need to navigate to that image, which is desktop working working here we are inside of that folder and that's the ICO file right there upload now this is the index.html file that I need to edit and add that code a little line of code that I've got copied into my clipboard so I need to put this just like it says here in between the opening head tag and the closing head tag let me show you what that where that's at I can edit this index file while it's live on my server using Qt FTP. And you can do the same thing with FileZilla and other FTP clients as well. Click on edit and here's the opening head tag. And if we scroll down, we'll find the closing head tag right here. So anywhere in between there, I'm going to go right after the style there and enter it there. And I want to save. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and minimize our FTP client, minimize our folder there, 
come on back here and refresh and it might take some time this time it was instant but sometimes it'll take a little bit of time to to propagate as they say and it might be different in different browsers too it might not show up in the Internet Explorer browser for 24 to 48 hours but if somebody were to come to this page right now and click on save it in their favorites then it's also going to assign this particular icon or favicon to that web page in their favorites that way it's going to stand out a lot so it's just another way in which you can brand your web pages by using a favicon or favorites icon that's going to bring us to the end of this video on how to create and install your favicon thanks for watching you have a great day